Zdravo, moi padrugi. Hello, my friends from Serbia. In this video, I want to show you the text-to-speech software and specifically how the Serbian voices sound. And as I have talked in other videos, this software is a bridge between the text-to-speech software services from Amazon Web Services, Microsoft Azure, Google Cloud, and IBM. Microsoft Azure recently announced a new update where they just added new languages and new dialects. And of course, they just added the new role voices for the Serbian language. Once you already have registered, you can do it for free to try it and test out the software. You can select among all the languages that are available here, and you can search out for, and in, of course, this case, Serbia. You can select among the three voices that are available. Previously, it only was for a female voice from Google Cloud, but I will just uh, formally merely showing how the voice sounds. But now with the recent addition of the Microsoft Azure, he has really improved the Serbian voice. So let's listen first to the Google Cloud voice. Zdravo, možete koristiti bilo koji od naših glasova za sintetiziranje vašeg teksta po potrebi. Dodajte dodatne ugrađene glasovne efekte kako biste dodatno poboljšali svoj govor, a također možete koristiti i neuronske glasove kako bi vaš govor zvučao kao da ga izgovara živo ljudsko biće. And of course we can feel the robotic voice, but now let's compare it with the Microsoft Azure. Zdravo. Možete koristiti bilo koji od naših glasova da sintetišete svoj tekst po potrebi. Dodajte dodatne ugrađene glasovne efekte da dodatno poboljšate svoj govor, a također možete da koristite neuronske glasove da vaš tekst zvuči kao da ga izgovara živo ljudsko biće. And now a male voice. Zdravo, možete koristiti bilo koji od naših glasova da sintetišete svoj tekst po potrebi. Dodajte dodatne ugrađene glasovne efekte da dodatno poboljšate svoj govor, a također možete da koristite neuronske glasove da vaš tekst zvuči kao da ga izgovara živo ljudsko biće. So you are the experts on the voice. Please write down on the comments what do you think. Are they good? Are they not? Honestly, of course, from the jumped from the Google Cloud to the Microsoft Azure, we can obviously note how the difference and more human-like, of course, as technologies will keep improving. I do think that there will be even closer to be human-like and less robotic. Here on the text-to-speech software, we can create new projects so that we can be adding according to what project we're building up the audios for so that we can give a little bit more order on the audios that we are creating. Also, there is the option of using some controls that in another video I'll explain how this one by one how they work the volume, the speed, the pitch, and the pauses that I mainly recommend to using the extreme points. Otherwise, they are barely noticeable or not noticeable at all. And here in the pause, of course, as it says, if you want to add some timing between the phrases. So I will just copy and paste one of the texts that I found on Microsoft Azure. And we can either listen or synthesize, but I do actually recommend to synthesize directly. Otherwise, with the listening, we'll also consume characters. And in order to optimize the characters, it's better to have that synthesized directly. And we'll have available here to listen the preview and to download. Koliko malo treba da budeš srećan. And if you're fine, you can be downloading directly or making some changes in order to have the audio that you want or prefer how it sounds like for. So this is the text-to-speech software with Serbian voice from Microsoft Azure. Serbia is such a beautiful country. I have been in Novi Sad. I have, I have to say it because of my friend from, find my friend from Serbia. And if you have some comments, some questions, don't hesitate to write down. Thanks for watching. Thank you.